this isn't going to make any sense, but this is future me talking now in the past for a clip that's going to go before past me in this vlog. So the whole vlog is past me, but this is future to last or next past me. This is so much like the X-Men timelines. <laughs> Anyways, I just got a package in the mail after I'd filmed that intro clip, but it has to go in the beginning. We're doing a lot, and we're doing nothing at all. Look at us go. But basically, I'm being weird because I <laughs> have a package from a company that I really love and I've worked with in the past, and that is Glasses USA, who is also sponsoring this video, so shout out to y'all. Love you so much. But I wanted to show you guys, these are... I've had these pair, but I got them in my new prescription. They're beautiful. I cannot remember for the life of me how to uh, pronounce these names correctly. We already struggled through this about, what, a year? Oh, no. When I first moved into this house. Oh my god, the beginning of the pandemic. No. Yes? Wow. Um, I'll put them all on the screen. So these are this these ones are right here but let's let's just talk about glasses usa for a little minute i'll show you my other pairs i am very happy about them i did get two of the same ones that i've had previously because i just love them so much i just you know had to get my prescription updated so glasses usa is a website and company that's really just all about cutting out that middleman and bringing you quality glasses for a low affordable price and when i say low it's like low low because it's up to 70 percent off of the retail price and there's over six thousand different styles for you to browse to look at honestly it took me forever to look at all of the pairs the very first time i ever saw the website i was so overwhelmed i could not pick what i love the most and the same thing happened this time to be quite honest but i had to go for some old favorites but there are so many to choose from and my favorite thing is that they have a try on feature which i will showcase here for you where you just take a picture of yourself and you can place the glasses onto your face and see what it's going to look like before you actually commit to buying them which is just so awesome and not only is this cool feature there it's really kind of a risk-free thing because you get to try them on before you pay for them but also going back to the low reasonable prices a whole pair starts at as low as thirty dollars and as a glasses person since i was like eight that is an unheard of low price and furthermore on that whole risk-free thing not only do you get to try them on with their tools that they have on the website but glassesusa.com actually allows for free shipping and returns which is a hundred percent money back guarantee at full refund within 14 days of delivery no questions asked so if you're not into it for whatever reason doesn't work out they are open to taking them back working with you it is just amazing they also have blue light for their frames that you can add on to any frame any prescription and i'm definitely gonna get some of those as soon as possible because this year during teaching we're doing a lot of virtual stuff i already use the computer a lot but i'm pretty much using it all day every day now so eight hours at work a couple hours at home editing videos and whatnot I'm gonna need some in my life and I know a lot of people are still working from home or have gone way more virtual in their job so they also have these which really help to just keep your eyes protected and rested while you're looking at the screen so much so definitely check out glassesusa.com down below in the description as always I'll have all the good information for you down there so make sure you check it out and thank you so much to glassesusa.com for sponsoring this video and now we're gonna go back to past me so goodbye to future past me yep hello welcome to a new reading vlog it's Tuesday Ugh. so <laughs> like I said it's Tuesday and uh, my partner and I early voted so I'm just home after work kind of early because 
we got out early to go vote, but already done. So in order to distract myself, <laughs> I'm gonna unbox some stuff for you guys. I got two pre-orders that I got in the mail. Uh, one from Owl Crate, one from the Beacon Book Box, so I'm gonna unbox those, but first I'm gonna give you updates on reading. I did not remember to update in my actual vlog that I finished it. I actually finished it on the 31st, but it was 12.15, so to me the day hadn't ended. I don't know, to God, I don't know who, to Father Time, it had ended and it was November 1st technically, so I did it. I put it on to November 1st, so I didn't finish in October, but that's okay. <laughs> Makes my wrap-up video shorter. But I did end up enjoying this. Just like I said in the last vlog, I didn't love the odd fascination on children maturing. There were some obvious things in here that I wasn't down for, but the horror section of it was pretty creepy. It was, it did freak me out more than I thought it would. But I will have to say, having now read the book, I much preferred the brand new movies to it. So yeah, I liked that they had a kind of adventure, like child adventure vibe to it versus just being straight up scary as heck. So that's probably why. But still, glad I read it. It's definitely a book off my bucket list. So now I am reading two big fantasies while well, I'm trying. I, I'm i having, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I'm having a really hard time focusing today, obviously because of the election, but also just stress in general. Like I thought my job couldn't get more stressful and then we had a meeting yesterday and <laughs> here we are. So I'm having a hard time focusing, but I'm still trying because I need to escape <laughs> and that's what I'm attempting to do. So the first one I have is The Devil's Thief. This is the sequel to The Last Magician, which is very much in the same vein as The Diviners. Although I I like this series for different reasons. The Diviners is like my baby, but I do really enjoy this. So we have our main character who is basically just sent back in time to complete a mission. And so there's dual timelines of the present and then about uh, 1902, I think, in New York? and um she's sent back to retrieve a book i believe i'm a little blurry on the details of the first book because honestly that ending really just rocked my world <laughs> and i don't remember the beginning anymore but this is the like i said sequel it's really good this says i'm on page 172 but because i am redoing it and rereading it that is not the case i don't think so yeah this is the audiobook I'm listening to. I don't know if I'll stick with it. I do enjoy the audiobook, but on, it just depends on what I'm feeling. I might do it interchangeably, but I am tabbing it, so I kind of want to commit to tabbing it. And I, I can't figure out a good way to tab and then put the tabs in when I'm listening to an audiobook. So, there's that one. And then I have another sequel. This is the sequel to Sky Without Stars, which is essentially Les Mis in Space. I had just read it. I absolutely loved Sky Without Stars. It is a very slow book. Very, very slow book. But so absolutely worth it. The payoff is just, oh, oh, it's so good. We follow three people. We follow a girl who is um, poor in the slums and dresses as a guy to do all of her like sleuthing, sneaking around. Then we have a guy point of view who is in the actual military and I believe it's his grandfather is like the general. And then we have the third point of view which is this girl who lives in kind of like a convent that we don't know about and we, it's very mysterious. They all intertwine. It's all so good. If you've seen Les Mis, it's, it follows it pretty closely from what I know of certain storylines. But I'm just in the mood for a revolution in multiple ways. So this is what I'm probably going to read tonight just to get in the spirit. So let's unbox some stuff. First we have the Beacon Box one. This is for Kingdom of the Wicked. Is that the title? <laughs> yes it is. And this is their edition. I liked that they kept it normal. If I really enjoy this book, I'm probably going to get the Barnes & Noble edition too. But oh man. 
it's so beautiful these gilded edges are so good and inside this map is beautiful and then we have her signature so i'm very happy i bought this myself i was not sent this but I am very happy with it because I love Carrie Maniscalco, so I cannot wait for even more books by her. Then after that, this is my very first Owl Crate Junior box I've ever got, and uh, I already opened it off camera so that I would know if we were having another Addie LaRue redo. If you watched my last vlog, you know. But this one is for Wondersmith, and this art, first of all, is freaking adorable but i'm so, or not wondersmith my bad hollow pox i held up the book oh well it's not a different book so that wasn't a spoiler anyways <laughs> so there's an umbrella that i'm not going to take out because we're already having a lot of bad luck this year and i don't need to be the uh, reason we have more but it has our characters on it and this let me tell you Hello. This is what made me realize this is not the Addie LaRue box because I will use this and I don't have an umbrella so this is actually nice and it's still the same print on the actual umbrella. But I'm very excited to own this honestly because I keep losing mine and also I just like having bookish everyday items. I just think that it's nice. Then we have oh, <laughs> the Wondrous Society official membership pin which I mean do I put it on my jacket or what I've had multiple students read this book because of me so we could all be in a society together then there are these little trading cards which is just a really cute package it kind of reminds me of like how Pokemon cards would come in a pack like this when I was younger I just I love it then we have a shower steamer that is whipped up wonderful and let me tell you this smells so good it's peach smoke which i don't know what that means but i like it also it's handmade in dallas hello place on the shower floor just out of the path of water breathe the steam aroma do you leave it there forever i'm assuming it dissolves but do you just leave it there till it dissolves do my questions make sense i think they do then we have a little flag, which I am so excited for this because I love these little flags and I really wanted one to hang up on my strange array of art prints walls. So now I do and it will definitely be going up. And then we have a little print, which is so cute. I hope the camera is catching this, but it's iridescent and it's really shiny and I love it. But it's just, I'm assuming probably a quote from the book. And then lastly, we have a book sleeve. And I can't tell you how excited I am to have an actual book sleeve from this series. And this is definitely going to be my designated middle grade book sleeve from now on. Which is, again, just exciting. I'm just excited about it. I'm excited about everything. No, not everything. Let's not be that bold, Olivia. So that is that for this books. We missed Trash Day twice last week. We are <laughs> struggling. But here we have the book, which I am so excited about. It's so Nevermore is such a good freaking book. But also when I opened the book, I mean, we have the card from the author, which I love. There's nothing more satisfying to me than when the cards actually fit in the book and I can leave them with that book. I hate when they're just a little bit too big. I mean, honestly, I should just start trimming them down, but I like when they fit so that I can keep them there because I don't know what else to do with them, but I like having the author's notes. And then there is a sticker that makes me want to cry <laughs> and I love it. And I'm going to put it, I want to put it on my iPad actually on that new case that I just got, which is conveniently right here. So let's do that right now. Hello? Was that me? Oh, was that me? There's no one else in the room. Who else would it have been? Good God. My brain is fried. But here we go. Oh, I love it. Why am I talking like this? Okay. Anyways, actually I know why I'm talking like that. I'm poorly trying to imitate the British booktubers I've been binging lately. Because, let me tell you, there's nothing more calming than watching British people right now. I mean, I've always felt that way because I grew up watching like Doctor Who and IT Crowd and things like that. Well, the IT Crowd's very chaotic and so is Doctor Who, but also is David Tennant and Matt Smith, so didn't mind it. But I grew up watching those things and they're very calming, but especially right now, I'm just like, 
Do I need to contact my extended family and be like, hey, mind if I can stay with you? And don't comment on here to not bring up politics. I'm joking, okay? Kind of. I'm not joking about the human rights issues. Uh, that's not political. That's just human rights, but I digress. So now I need to go edit two videos and send those to the people that need to view them before they go up. And then I'm going to shower and maybe I'll schedule in a quick cry if I'm feeling it. And then I'll read. Um, I would love to be able to focus enough to read Wondersmith, but I just can't. So I think that this is the one that we're going to go with today. And that's all I got. I also am still trying to work through Words of Radiance, but that's a joke at this point. Because if I can't even focus on a middle grade... Because I can't focus on anything with the writing too dense. <laughs> so Words of Radiance is like out of the equation. But yeah. So uh, we will make the HelloFresh meal. Which I try to show y'all as many as I can or I remember to in each vlog. But we have two that I'll be showing. One is a penne. I think it's a vegetarian penne pasta dish. And the other one is a buffalo chickpea bowl. Either, either way. They both sound amazing, so I will be showing those in this vlog. So yeah, HelloFresh is really, it's really keeping me going. It's what I look forward to. I'm like, at 2 p.m., if I can get through this, I can get HelloFresh. And then suddenly it ain't that bad. So yeah, let's go edit, let's go shower, let's get Jake some food. His tail is wagging. And yeah, that's the plan. Bye 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 bye! Hello, we're back for the usual book update and then unboxing. So, update on The Devil's Thief. This is, dang, almost 700 pages. And I'm on page 138, which they don't do chapters in here, so this is just what it is. And I'm listening to this one on Scribd on audio, and I'm really, really really liking it. I love that it just jumped right back into the action after having left off on such a cliffhanger in Last Magician. So yes, I am having a very good time with this book for sure. I 10 out of 10 recommend the Last Magician series if you don't mind slow burn books. This is definitely a slow paced book. And then as for my physical reading, this one is also about 700 pages. There they're both the same size, honestly, and color scheme. Not planned, but nice. I'm on chapter 5, which is only page 45, but I have not read any more of this since I updated y'all, what, yesterday? Or I updated you Tuesday. All the days blur together. I feel like with the election, like, my life is just on pause until everything's settled. Well, not settled, but... The numbers are just in and we know like who won. Which sidebar, I've been talking about this a lot on Instagram and I, I don't talk about politics as much as I do on Instagram on here, but I'm not here for these comments that keep saying don't bring it up at all. This is a place of escape or whatever. I get that, which is why I don't bring it up a lot. But when it applies to something I'm speaking about, I'm going to talk about it because not everyone gets to escape politics like that so just a little PSA for anybody if you want a channel with absolutely none of that uh, I'm not the one definitely don't follow me on Instagram because it's been a day over there in my DMs good lord but a happy moment I have my Illumicrate for the month which basically I could just title this finally unboxing the good Addie LaRue edition other than the Illumi or the um, Forbidden Planet, but I actually have peeked at this and I like this better. This is my favorite edition of Addie LaRue, which no one's surprised because Illumicrate is, I think I'm finally able to say, it's Illumicrate, Fairy Loot, Owl Crate. That's my order of love for these boxes, but Illumicrate is like by far my favorite just because I like also the 
picks that they do and their editions are just absolutely beautiful so this month's theme was life and death and this is the pamphlet that i always do be selling for some reason i don't know why so i already took everything out of the packaging and unboxed everything oh my goodness what did i just do so the first thing we have is i'm not 100 percent sure what this is for but it's going to be displayed on my ve schwab shelf that's all that matters it is so beautiful and it's so it's just so pretty with the shiny elements and then her and i just i really like this then we have two pins this month Ooh, ow so we have the monthly enamel pin which is a set of books with these stars displayed on it and then we have this but i think it's yeah there you go the sun and moon with a chain and that's i really like this one i think this looks really really good then we have tarot cards but these are how i would like mine done because it's hades and persephone but they're woodwick one like not woodwick but they're wooden ones and that's really cool also my camera battery's running so we got to go speed quick sisters then this is i think just a fragrance oil thing and then we have the book and i don't care this is the best edition it is so beautiful with the black sprayed edges this silver edition these papers but also this like this is the best edition of the invisible life of Addie larue i'm absolutely obsessed with it i love the neutrals and the gray and the flowers that are white with just the pop of a little bit of color at the center of them chef's kiss illuminate has done it again which if y'all ever want to try illuminate always put the code down below but i have a code live latte down below if you want to check it out but now i need to go because the battery is dying i'm dying and we're making food so good day <laughs> Life's been good to you, and I see that you're with someone new. Maybe you are better off now that you're with him. But when I see your face, I can't stop myself from spiraling. Now I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling down. Cause I can focus when you are around. But I will try my best to carry on. I'm lost and out of breath. I will carry on without you like you've done. But I'm not over you. I'm not over, not over you. I'm not over you. Yeah, my heart belongs to you. I'm not over you. You left. I know that I have done some things I do regret. And I don't blame you for leaving. I might have done the same, but it doesn't make it easier anyway. Now I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling down. Cause I can get myself to focus when you are around. But I will try my best. Carry on without you like you've done Though I'm lost and out of breath I will carry on without you like you've done But I'm not over you man this light from the window it's just gonna have to work this is just gonna have to be what it be so i got sent this sophia kinsella book love your life never heard of it 
but I do like her what was the Confessions of a Shopaholic I think I did like that one I only read one and then I saw the movie but it looks cute not really sure what it's about but literally the cover just looks cute it looks a little Christmassy I'm not sure if it's a Christmas book, but just wanted to show you. But as an actual reading update, I am reading Deal with the Elf King. This is surprisingly good. Why am I saying surprisingly? It's not surprising. I love Elise Kova's books. But this one, we're following a main character who lives in a town where she is basically the healer. And there is a kind of ritual, I guess, where every i believe hundred or so years the elf king comes to the human world and takes the human queen back to the elf land and that basically keeps there from being a war for the next hundred years or whatever until there's a new queen that he is gonna come get and obviously that is gonna happen in this book and the rest i'm just gonna dot 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 I think I've seen two comparisons thrown around Hades and Persephone and then Beauty and the Beast and I'm getting both vibes definitely for sure I think the one thing this doesn't really bother me but I know a lot of people who read fantasy want you to show versus tell but this to me is a romance set in a fantasy world so the fact that there's a lot of telling versus showing is not a big deal for me but this is not about Fae, so I see a lot of people comparing this to The Cruel Prince in the fact that it's another Fae book, but that's incorrect, it's not. It is about Elf. There are Fae in this world, there's Vampire, there's um, all kinds of creatures, and I th believe Kova said that she's going to write multiple standalones in this world, which is really awesome, I love when authors do that, and I just wanted it out there that when it says deal with the elf king it actually means elf and my computer just turned on for no reason and that's really creepy but cool so aside from that I am still listening to the devil's thief I believe I'm almost 200 pages in now which is great and then I'm a hundred pages into this one I think my goal is going to be to carry these two over into next week I kind of knew I wasn't going to finish them this week, but I do want to finish the deal with the Elf King today. So what I'm going to do is organize all my clips for this vlog now ahead of time and just get like the simple things done like the music and the um, B-roll footage and things like that put into here and then I'm going to actually start reading. I was thinking about filming or putting together a vlogmas intro i think i'm gonna do that soon because i do want there to be a specific intro for vlogmas i just think that that would be really cute but i'm not sure how i want to do it yet so i might start planning that out like writing it down i did want to show my planner i'm doing this one for january so it is gonna have to wait but i am really happy with how the color scheme is turning out i don't know if this is gonna show up on camera but it's gonna be a pale gray, pale pink, and then this light indigo color all put together. And it does not look good in this lighting, so I'm gonna have to wait till the sun is actually up because it's really cloudy right now. But I just have a bunch of inserts for next year in here, and then those little things arranged just so I could kind of see the color scheme I wanna go with, and I love it. So that's great. This is the one I'm currently using. I love this black one. I think it's such a classic color, but I really want to set up my Christmas setup, but I can't do it until I get these new dividers in because it's so boring, but I have to get them in so that I can see what size to cut my other dashboards into. Anyhow, I'll show you when I actually get to do that. The inserts have shipped, but this is very typical for planner shops is they shipped but then USPS is awaiting the item for like a week or so. So I don't really know what that's about. But hopefully I'll get them sometime soon and I can actually do that. But for now, going to go do the vlog. More of Elf King. Listen to some Devil's Thief. And just get it all done.
Okay, hello, welcome to the most non-update ever. I did not finish any books this week. I am very sad about it, but that's okay because hopefully I will finish them next week. But I did just want to update that I got about 300 pages in to the Devil's Thief and then I'm about 200 pages in to Between Burning Worlds and I'm almost completely finished with the deal with the Elf King. So hopefully next week we'll have lots of updates, lots of great times. But yeah, that is it for this vlog. So thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, make sure you check out glassesusa.com in the description for an amazing offer. And leave a Santa emoji. <laughs> I don't know why it's the first thing I thought of. I was playing Christmas music in my classroom today and the kids were like, it's no and I'm like, so all I heard was it's Christmas part one. So yeah, leave that down below if you don't know what to comment and you want something to comment. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna go because I gotta film the intro to what is now next week for you guys, this week for me. Bye!